That's an interesting story about my game-changing moment. It's got to be 85 or 86, and uh, I had done some gigs. I was playing with Matt Guitar Murphy and Pure Prairie League, which were, which were nice gigs. But I was also uh, very good friends with Dave Weckl. We were roommates in college. And uh, he had been playing with uh, Michelle Camillo. While he was doing that gig, he got offered the Chick Corea gig, which he obviously took. And unbeknownst to me, he recommended me to replace him in Michelle, for Michelle Camillo to audition. I got the gig and uh, overnight went to touring with Michelle and Anthony Jackson was a huge idol of mine. And that's what kind of led, that's what put me, put me on the map in the drumming community because everybody knew who Dave was. And so people were watching to see who was gonna take that chair. And you know, it's interesting because that not only is it, it's, it was really a game changing and a real fork in the road because there was a time I only had 10 days to prepare for this audition. And if you know Michelle's music from that era, it was challenging. And, and I was a big fan, would go to the gigs, but I didn't feel at all that I was ready to actually play. And you know, tunes in 7-4, I mean, I could barely play in 7-4, let alone solo. And I almost, when Michelle called me, I, I almost respectfully declined, because I didn't think I was ready. But luckily I didn't. You know, it's interesting when you practice, it can be, it's, it was frustrating for me back then and I think it is even more now in that you can be inspired by all your heroes and you can practice hard and do all those things and learn everything, but a lot of times you don't have an outlet to actually play them live and it can be very frustrating and sometimes what happens is you play them in an unmusical situation because you have no other outlet and you, and you can lose a gig over that. Um, and, and Weckl was very fortunate that he had all these outlets where he could use this vocabulary musically and all us other guys who were just looking at him like wow it's great I, you know we've learned the same thing but we can't play it on our club gigs but Dave knew enough about my playing and my work ethic and whatever he saw and that uh, you know it, it meant a lot to Michelle and a lot to me that he thought of me for that chair and again, I had to bring it, and you had to be prepared. Um, you know, and at that time, I was practicing a lot. 